Okay, what's up, you guys? So, it's your motherfucking girl. Let's try back again with my little chocolate smoke sesh. Let's go ahead and say thank you guys for 172 subscribers and the comments. Like, y'all been telling me I need to film, but it's not that I'm not filming, y'all. It's the fucking fact that the Wi Fi slow as hell and it takes like a good four to five days for a fucking video to upload. So, I'm gonna have to go somewhere this weekend, make sure I upload all my recent videos because I have a lot. <clears throat> But anyways, y'all, so today, let me go ahead and give y'all the rundown, like, how the fuck my day been. And, like, my day really has been fucked up. One, I just now, like, this is my first one of the day. I'm high as hell, but this is my first one of the day. Which is cool, because I like, I like to smoke a little bit later when it get close to night. So, you feel me? And I versus, like, versus getting off at 1 o'clock, you know, I don't smoke, like, 4 or 5 months before 8 o'clock. <laughs> so, yeah. Let me, anyways, let me give y'all the rundown. So I currently work at a group home, a smoke shop, and a fucking daycare. Yes, I got three jobs, right? So yes, I be dog ass tired. Like today, I was not the fuck out the fucking daycare. But let me tell y'all. So I really, I okay. I was supposed to be okay. I was supposed to leave the daycare in April, the end of April. I just picked up a whole entire month for my interview on vacation. You feel me? So yeah. Because it's me, my mom, my aunt that were there. She's my cousin, but it's actually like my auntie too at the same time. Because I think of her like her auntie because her mom's so close. So anyways. So y'all know the daycares don't pay that much. Unless you're in like New York, then it would be more like paying. But let me just go ahead. Like I normally don't, you know, disclose this type of information on the internet. But anyways, so I made thirteen fifty at the smoke shop. I made fifteen fifty at a group home, but if I do overnights, I get an extra two dollars, so that's seventeen fifty. You feel me? But then I worked at this raggedy ass daycare that paid me nine dollars an hour, but it pays every week, and the smoke shop pays every week. So those are bonuses to me. Every two weeks, I be like, what the fuck? But hey, that money be banking every two weeks. So yeah, plus I do forty six hours in three days at the smoke shop. Then I'm off for. I do thirty six hours at the fucking group home three days four days off so of course i'm not overworking myself because i got the schedules and hitting like either back to back but enough time for me to sleep you feel me and then i go to the daycare eight the way but i'm getting everybody to work around her schedule so you feel me just because i know she needs help so anyways y'all she paid me cash because like i said i'm not actually on her roster to be getting paid you feel me because i was just like a helper at first but everybody else on the roster began paid or whatever like that <clears throat> so i get paid cash i don't mind you taking out taxes on me but who the fucks want somebody to take out taxes on them with nine dollars an hour i haven't seen nine dollars an hour since i was about 15 16 working at the daycare you feel me but I know that's the normal range they pay. But you, I found a couple of people that paid me $10 and $11, which is perfectly fine. But I always had the mindset of, okay, shit, I scored these good jobs paying like this. You feel me? I ain't trying to back down to no fucking nine, dollars $10. But if God bless me with a job with $10, I'm going to take it. You feel me? But yeah, nine, that's really not it. The 10 it really ain't it, but I take it. But my normal to go is 15 14 being the least. 13 being the least. No, 13 being the least. Yeah. That's my normal to go. $13 being the least. This bitch. <laughs> my dumb ass. This bitch gonna come to me this morning. Because I told her. I was like. On Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays. I do the group home. one thirty. As soon as I get off of work, I go back to work. 1 30 to 9 30. Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. I do her Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mind you, she used to tell me, Oh, once you put your kids down for nap after 11 30, you can go home. So around 11 45 after lunch, they down for nap. I'm home. You feel me? So. Last Friday. 
okay, it's around like 45. I told my kids down. I had to went and check the other class, make sure the kids was cool. Whoop the whoop. So yeah, she was like, all right, girl, you good, you good to go. I'm good to go? Yeah. All right, bet. Have a nice weekend. Thanks. You too. I leave. Monday, I didn't come to work because I had to go to the smoke shop, period. But I knew that one of our co-workers did just quit because, like she said, $9 and shit an hour. But let me tell y'all about this, too. So, anyways, I don't want this video to be too long. Plus, I'm dragging the story. I give detail for detail. So, anyways, Monday, I did not go in. Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm in that bitch. Today's tomorrow's Thursday. So, yeah, I work today. Anyway, so she's going to come to me today. Hey, yeah, I noticed you left early Friday. Was there a reason behind it? I said, yeah, you, uh, I said, yeah, I had to help my mom, but you also told me I could go home. She was like, oh, no, I was talking to your mom. But you was dead ass looking me in front of my face because Friday, she decided she wanted to be petty and pay me late because I had to work at the group home Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So I took off with her Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Mind you, it's the summer. I only have about two fucking kids and she only has one damn child because everybody know these parents be having kids that's older, that's older enough to watch their other kids their younger siblings so the parents gonna keep them home to make their money i mean to keep their money you feel me so yeah anyway she told me i can go home early monday i noticed that she ain't tell me but i told my mama let me stay to see what she say but my mama's being patient as fuck she was like just come on she then told you when you put down your kids you can leave i'm like all right cool yeah you're right so i love so she told me about it today Mind you, like I say, nine dollars an hour is two twenty five a week. That's weed money. Not even coming from my other jobs, I use their paychecks too for weed. So you know, that's why I was because she smoked too. So that's why I was saying to her today. I was like, "Is you gonna okay?" So like, I'm 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 gonna ask you about my pay because I'm very curious as fuck. Like, bitch, I got bills. I may be young, but still, I want to do shit. But anyways, so I asked to say, I said, "Okay, so for the nine dollars an hour, I said you taking up the pay because." I'm going to be doing full-time Monday through Thursday. And, you know, you're taking out taxes. I was like, so the pay probably going to accumulate to a good hundred and some dollars, maybe less than that a week because, one, I'm only 19. So taxes taken out normally be a good hundred dollars as it is, plus more. So, yeah, because I'm, I'm always getting taxes taken on me on every job. You feel me? So, anyways, she was like, Oh no, the pay will stay the same because I really don't have too much of a budget and this and that. I want to say, I see there's cracks in the wall and leaks up here that you said that you can get fixed for weeks and then the people come out and they fuck the shit up even worse. So I see that I don't fit in your budget, but I'm still asking because bitch, you need more work. So she was like, oh no, I can't take up the pay. So I'm like, okay, cool. I do the tax and shit taking out on me so my job let my mama go know and she was like well if you want to make that choice that's on you whoop -de -whoop. so i told i was like you know our old boss right because me and my mama worked before multiple times at other daycares so i was like you know our old boss right currently my mom do the night shift at our old job so it's not really her old boss is my old boss but i was like yeah you know Woo Woo has said she can go ahead and use me for when school start. I was like, which is cool because you know I'm buried, I'm off throughout most of the week because I'm only picking up the shifts like how I was picking it up. So I was like, yeah, whatever, whatever the case may be, I may go with her because I don't want to be off throughout the week like that. You feel me? Plus, my sister is currently pregnant, and the daycare that we work at now, she don't accept babies. So my mama wanted to be around her grandchild, of course. Knowing that she already worked in childcare. So she was like, You quit Friday, I may quit too, because you know, woot the woot have bomb um, pay every week too, so I can go there. I'm like, Yeah, true. <coughs> Y'all high as fuck. So yeah, I'm like, But bro, you expect for me to make $100 or something a week with you and have my other two jobs because I'm trying to be just a nice person, have my other two jobs that's paying way more. And the bonus is that another one pay every week, you know, so it's not that you just pay every week, other people pay every week as well, plus I got another one that pay every two weeks, so back to back I'm getting paid twice. 
when it used to be three times but i mean it could still be three but y'all if you've been telling me to chill do not take the other job at the daycare because it was like you're overworking yourself you're doing too much but <clears throat> like i say eight to one 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Monday through Thursday and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday within that same week when I get off at 1 o'clock I go back in 1 30 to 9 30 I get back home around y'all the house is barely five minutes up the road so I get back home like five minutes so when I get off at 9 30 I'd be home a good if traffic 9 37 you feel me so it's like literally right around the corner so it's not like I'm missing sleep I go to bed around 11 anyways and still wake back up at 8 so you feel me then i was just like okay on um friday saturday and sunday since i'm off well i'm not technically off on fridays i'm supposed to work on fridays but i take off on the daycare on friday to convenient the smoke shop to be from the 10 a.m to 12 p.m you feel me the whole 14 hour shift so you know i'm letting you know ahead of time it was never like i'm trying to do shit i'm professional besides that one day of when i had to go into the smoke shop and i wasn't able to come inside the daycare i understand that but I'm just saying, like, bitch, don't be thinking that I actually need this job because I will walk out this bitch, call DCF myself, and be like, yeah, she's short, she short staff for that bitch. I just quit because you want to be petty. Now this time I tell y'all, she want to be petty as fuck. She was talking to me, mind you, this is my friend, but her and the boss was real cool, like very close. So the boss was talking to me. She was like, "Yeah, I pay K, um, um, yeah, I pay K extra even when she don't come into work. Mind you, K always call off and never come in. And when she come in, she come in late as fuck, two hours late. She be like, I just didn't feel like coming in today. But bitch still get paid three hundred dollars. Now let me tell y'all what she paid at. K only worked four hours a week. I mean, what the fuck? Four hours a day. I work five hours a day. My aunt works seven hours a day. Right." My aunt is at 39 hours a week. You think she's paying this lady full-time? No, she's paying her part-time. I understand I'm part-time, so I'm getting paid part-time. Kay is well part-time, but she's getting paid full-time. Kay told me her weekly pay is a good 300, I said 300, 300 a week or 350 if she gives her a bonus. Because my mom and Kay get bonus at the end of the month. But mind you, me and Kay started the same damn day, which was on a Friday. And both returned back that Monday during that April. And Kay got a bonus already. Petty as fuck. So I'm like, bitch that ran her mouth and she didn't even know that she ran her fucking mouth. And this is the boss talking. So I'm just like, so I go tell my mom and my aunt because it's only me, my mom, my aunt, the boss, and Kay. So I told my mom and I was like, y'all know she pay Kay X and X amount. I was like, but hold on, let's cool it. I ain't worried about me getting paid. It's you, Auntie. You getting short at the end of the day. Me and you getting paid damn near the same thing. And I'm only doing part time. You doing one hour away from full time, 39 hours a week. And she don't want to pay you? Full time? That's fucked up. But when Kay come in late and don't come in, you pay her full time and still give her her full pay. You know, dark shit. Then that was like two days, right? Two days in a row that same week. I pick up my aunt's schedule. I I I didn't know at that time that my aunt was getting paid. Shit, I'm thinking she getting paid her hours that she works. You feel me? So the boss come to me. She asked me, "Can I pick up my aunt's schedule?" I told her, "Yeah." She was all right. Back, come back in at this time work to this time and get paid on friday i knew i get paid on friday so i'm saying okay i get paid on friday you're gonna put these hours inside my check yeah i got my check i'm looking at that bitch because i'm gonna count my money regardless whether you do or not baby i'm count that money see what the fuck you doing i'm looking at i'm like oh well you can pay me for the two extra days charity work but okay could have been hot boxing filming But yeah, that's why my mama always say, <laughs> my mama always tell me, never work for black people. Never work for black people. Never. Y'all, they are professional as fuck. But we are professional as fuck. But my friend just told me that too, Sunday, because I was telling her about the group home and stuff like that. 
and she was like, um, yeah, you don't want to do that because let people are very <laughs> unprofessional at times with their pay. I'm like, true, but maybe they ain't gonna fuck around nobody like that. You feel me? But shit, these motherfuckers privately own motherfucking people that got them daycares and motherfucking coupons and shit. They definitely be playing with your money. Yeah, they definitely do. I had to learn that. <coughs> I'd rather go to a company real quick. Hey, Target. Yes, I'm back. Hey, Bath and Body Works. Yes, I'm back. Mm-hmm. Yes, the fuck I would. But I don't like retail. That's the only thing. Bitch, that was like a good two hours ago. <laughs> Y'all. Last night. Y'all ever get the fucking weirdest ass DM from like n niggas in the fucking hood? Like, not even the hood, but like in your area. So I'm on Instagram like a good two o'clock last night. You feel me? Just strolling and moving away. I'm like, oh. I got somebody new requesting my DM. So I'm checking like, oh, maybe they want me to do promo. Or they maybe want me to do their nails. They want me to do their lashes, eyebrows. Maybe they want a purse, rolling tray. It's multiple things why people contact me. You feel me? So, this is how I'm thinking. So I see, hey. So, only thing I see is, hey, da da da, like a whole bunch of dots. So, I had to click open the thing to be like, accept, block, primary, general, whatever the fuck the case may be. So, I click that shit open. And it's a whole nigga from the hills talking about, oh, um, I want you to be my girlfriend. I'm moving. I want you to move with me. I'm like, bitch, I don't even know you. Like, I don't know you. Automatically, termination, block. <laughs> block, like a motherfucker. Then there was one post I had posted about being single. This nigga gonna say, Babe, you not single. Block. Blockity block, block. Then, it was somebody else doing some dumb. Oh, one nigga told me I was stuck up and acting like I'm bougie because I never seen his fucking message. I'm like, nigga, you cussing me out. Like, bitches, hoes. Bitch, I know you seen my motherfucking text, huh? I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like, this is what I'm saying to myself. Because I'm like, I did not see the nigga text. But it's so hilarious. Because I'm like, he literally just talked to request. Bitch, I don't even check my requests. Only why that bitch is down to six and five. Now people requesting the DM me is because I went to the rest of them. And just blocked inappropriate ass messages. Like... It be funny, but then it's annoying as fuck. Like, niggas, y'all weird. But bitches be weird as fuck, too. Bitches be weird as fuck, too. I'm rather. This one dude was gonna say. He wants to fucking. Netflix video. Movie. What the fuck? He posted a Netflix video. He from down here. So I'm like, Cap. He was like, oh, that bitch a hoe because she fucked two married men. I said, said, Cap. He was like, what you mean? I was like, now let's switch the roles. He? Okay, no, no, no. I was like, yeah, let's switch the roles. He knew he was married. He knew he was married when he said, I do. The other nigga knew he was married when he said, I do, and go home at night. But when she fucked them because she's single and she fucked two married men, she's a hoe. But let a nigga do it, he ain't a hoe. And he kept, nah, you just taking up hoes because she a female. That's whole shit. I'm like, but let a nigga do it. What is it? Nigga ain't text back. He's talking about she's a hoe when he finally text back. I was like, but if it was a nigga that did it, is he a hoe? He was like, you funny. I was like, no, the fuck I'm not. You the funny one. So... It was just funny as hell because I was like, bruh. She's single. 
Yeah, she knew they was married. He knew they was married. What the fuck? But it then she if she just fucked them when they was not willingly, that's rape. But two married men was literally the fuck. That's not rape. That's all around the border. Both of them niggas want to cheat. She's not cheating on nobody but herself. Like, what the hell? Yeah, I love this motherfucking vape. I don't know how much I've been talking about this damn vape. But tropical fruit, them extra. The flavor is there. The puff is there. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to get in. I'm about to go put gas in my car and I'm about to go to work. Yeah, I'm going to the night job. But they care. I picked up my own shift, so. Yeah, I love this fucking day. I need to go get me another one when I go get gas. Anyways, make sure you guys keep liking, commenting, and subscribing. It's making me so happy because I'm like, bro, I'm trying to fucking pose. It be two weeks and I film like every fucking day just like I did when I was at Standard at the Hotel. If y'all ran across my old videos, I love y'all some OG subscribers. Y'all thought I was posting every fucking day because the hotel is some good ass Wi Fi. But this weak ass Wi Fi over there, I think it's because we're around a bunch of trees and you know we don't get too much of a signal signal. But. Oh, this is that whack ass spectrum. Could be that too. <clears throat> but yeah. Um. Anyways, we almost with 200 subscribers. Like, I know every time I fucking post, I just be like, I know I'm gonna wake up to five or six subscribers. Because every time I post, I get new subscribers. And I just be like, oh, thank you, Jesus. And thank you, guys, too. I love you. It just be like, oh, my goodness. I'm looking at the comments in the morning time when I wake up. Yeah, my head got poopy because of the damn rain. But yeah, when I wake up and I be seeing the comments and shit, I be like, mm -hmm, yeah, let me go ahead and pray, read my Bible verse, and then reply. That's something I have to do every morning, just because. I know I'm, I'm not the biggest sinner out here, but I know I do a big sin, like big sin. But you feel me? I still pray. I still try to keep my relationship with God. You know, that's a good thing to do. Keep your relationship on a path with God. Always try to include God in things that you do. I know I try to. And you know, I ran across two people in the neighborhood that just randomly the same day asked me about God. And some dude, he was just like, hey. I was like, hi. Like, weird as fuck. I'm like, hi. He was like, I'm sorry. He said, I just have a question that I would tend to ask just anyone because I'm going through something. He was like, are you Christian? Do you believe in God? I was like, yes, my guy. Let me bring you to my car so we can talk. But no, I didn't do that. I slid my ass outside. <laughs> but anyways, I was like, yeah, I believe in God. And so he was like, I, he was like, I'm not about to say I don't believe in God. He said, I'm not saying I'm atheist. He was like, but what's the things that when he do, when people say, you know, God did is something magic? I said, nigga, what? <laughs> Miracles, baby. Miracles, my nigga. Miracles, not no fucking magic. I was just like, miracles? But then he was like, how did God create himself? My, I'm high as fuck. I was like, he came from the dirt. He was like, but how did mine just come out of nowhere and be like, create myself in my dirt and go find the Holy Spirit? I was like, damn. I said, but it's in the Bible. So he was like, yeah. He was like, you know, I was reading it just then. He was like, and he said he created himself from dust and woo, woo. I'm like, true. 
I was like, but you know, it said in the Bible, be fruitful and multiply. I was like, he placed that on me down there. I said, but you got to think about it. Beforehand, yeah, they was in Jerusalem. I think that's what it was. But they was in Jerusalem, whoop, whoop. You know, he had his disciples. He had people and stuff. I was like, dude, he just had Adam and Eve. In Genesis, it first talked about how God created heaven and earth and Adam and Eve. And he had Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve were not in sin. That's how it started. Okay. So, yeah. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to end the video right here. I do a whole nother other scene, but I got to call.